Hey, this is Tuesday, 12th of November, year, year of our Lord, 2019. Julia, Johnny, and Sawyer, most of the students wish they were like you, still at home. Not having to come to school today, but there was no snow. All right, here we go. Let's see how you're going with this. Exponent being zero, the answer is always one. And if the exponent is negative, if you don't fully understand why mathematically, hopefully at least you get, it's kind of a simple rule. Listen, if the exponent's negative, just put it under one and make the exponent positive. Just remember that. Yes, I will. All right, we are on page. Two o two, and that's what we'll go over today. Two o two. I think I only had to do one through eight. 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 We'll see how you did. Number one, it's one over seven squared, and simplified, it's one over forty-nine. So you should have one forty-nine. Why? Because you simply take 7 to the negative 2, put it under 1, and make it positive. And we demonstrated yesterday why that works. Yes? Uh, I, I do that. I think 149. 149. Okay? Can't be 49, David. That's 7 squared. This is 7 to the negative 2. So it's 1 over 49. Spence, that makes sense? Yeah. It's like opposite. Listen, think of it like this. Negatives are opposite of positives, right? What would the answer be if this was 7 squared? 49 over 1. So what's the answer? 1 over 49. Right? You know, sometimes when things are hard to understand, one of the easiest things to get through is if they're opposites. Does that make sense? Like if things are opposite, sometimes we can uh, clearly, more clearly see that. So don't, don't uh, make it too complicated in your mind. Look, what's the opposite of positive? Negative. What would 7 squared be? 7 to the positive 2? 49. So 7 to the negative 2, what's the opposite of 49 over 1? 1 over 49. Think in those terms. Number 2. It's negative 2, in parentheses, to the negative 5. So what's that look like? It's going to look like this. 1 over negative 2 to the 5th. If it's negative 2 to the 5th, think about this. That's negative 2 times negative 2. So far I have two negatives. What's my final answer going to be? Positive. It's going to be positive. Times another negative. The answer is going to be negative. Times another negative. And times the fifth negative takes you back to a negative answer. So if you have a negative being raised to a power, if that power is odd, the final answer is going to be negative. If that power is even, the final answer is going to be positive. Right? Because look, negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4, correct? Because when you multiply two negatives, you get a positive. Go to the third power. Now you're taking that positive 4 times negative 2. The answer is negative. Every even power, if you're raising a negative, it's going to be a positive answer. Because you keep going two positives, or two negatives make a positive. Then a positive times a negative makes it negative. Does that make sense? No. Um, the problem is if it's a negative 5, does that affect it? It's a negative 5. That's why I wrote it like this. The first thing you should do with number 2, Noah, is rewrite it like this. Negative 2 to the negative 5 is 1 over negative 2 to the 5th. They're both negative, though. The problem. Right. Listen. No. This is that. 
Oh, okay. I didn't know if they were. Uh, so just like I did here, instead of instead of seven squared, it's seven to the negative two. So all I did was put the seven squared in the denominator, put it under one. Again, what's the opposite of positive? Negative. What's the opposite of 49 over 1? One? 1 over 49. You're just flipping it. That's it. Does that make sense? So I just flipped it. Look, I put the negative 2 in the denominator under 1 and made the exponent positive. So when I do negative 2 times negative 2, it's positive 4. I go to the third power. Now it's negative. I go to the fourth power. It's back to positive. I go to the fifth power. Back to negative. So what is 2 to the fifth? 2 times 2, 4, times 2, times 2, times 2. And what's the final answer going to be, positive or negative? That's an odd number. Final answer is 1 over negative 32. Negative 1, 30 seconds. Whether you put the negative, listen, whether you put the negative down here on the denominator, or out here in front of the whole thing, it doesn't matter. It's negative one third second. Let me make that clear. The answer is negative one thirty second. It does just so you're clear, it doesn't matter if the negative sign's in front of the thirty two or not. You can put it in front of the whole fraction. Because the fraction bar is a division sign, right? So if this was a positive one and a negative thirty two, the answer is going to be negative. Right? You sure you followed all that? Mm -hmm. Negative 1 over 32. Number 3. 6 times 6 to the negative 3. This is what that's going to look like. Everybody see my erasers? The factor by Sid the Kid. Now, they're not very aerodynamic. Oh, I thought you were going to throw them to me. Thank you, dear. All right, so we got 6 times 6 to the negative. You guys know your Spanish? No. no you German didn't understand better. that verse? No. no. Oh, my. German's better. Yeah. German is better. Yeah. yeah. No. Just Who said no? Well, I can win when it has a tenant. Watch it. Yours. Yours. Oh, no. German. Last year, Spanish is better. Yes. Okay, no, we're going to rewrite this. I agree. Six. Six times one over six cubed. Do you understand what I just did? Okay. Six times six to the negative three. Six times, I changed six to the negative three. Listen. It's negative exponents, so what am I going to do? I'm just going to put it, I'm going to flip it. I'm going to make it positive down here in the denominator. Keep thinking on that. Five more seconds, think about nothing but that. If it's negative exponent, just make it positive and put it in the denominator. You get it, Noel? You get it, Jaden? Kara. Listen, if the exponent's negative, just make it positive and put it in the denominator. Say that to yourself. Say that out loud. If the exponent's negative, just make it positive and put it in the denominator. You're afraid to say it. No, I'm afraid. Okay, we, we wrote on the board why that was true yesterday. Remember I canceled all the X's? Okay. So if you don't totally understand the why, canceling all the X's, Kara, if you just say, if the exponent's negative, make it positive, put it in the denominator. When you say I don't understand that, it's like you're refusing to understand it. Like, if it's negative, just make it positive. And put it down here. Okay. If it's a blue marker, put it on the bottom shelf. I don't know. <laughs> Why? Why I mean, really. You got, you got a bunch of black markers. You put them all on the top shelf. Oh, if it's a blue marker, 
Put it on the bottom shelf. You got all these positive exponents. You put them. You just you just keep them on top. You keep them as the numerator. Oh, if it's a negative exponent, you just put it on the bottom. Yeah. I mean, it's not. I understand at first it's difficult, but think if it's negative, you just put it up in the denominator, make it positive. You get it? Yeah, I get it. All right. So we got one, uh, six times one over six cubed. So now it's six times one over. What would six cubed look like? Yeah. Well, six over two to the power. Yes, but what, what, what is the answer? Oh, uh, <laughs> one over thirty-six. No, six squared is thirty-six. Mm -hmm. Anybody know six cubed? You had to figure it out to, to get do the homework. One over six two. times six is thirty-six. Thirty-six times six is. Two sixteen. Yeah. Two sixteen. What's six over one times one over two sixteen? Six over two sixteen, and then you can reduce that to one over thirty-two. Or let me show you something else. You could have done this. Oh yeah. Six over one times one over six cubed is the same as 6 over 6 cubed. Watch this. This would be, watch, this would be the same as 6 over 6 times 6 times 6. What did we learn yesterday when I wrote all those X's? Cancel, cancel. 1 over 6 times 6, 136. Yes. David. Uh, but I, I added the exponents together. One, added what exponents? For the 6 times 6, which is always a 1. Okay, hold up. What? I, for number 3, I added the, I added 1 and then the 3 again. Okay. David did this. Did you hear what he said? David looked at it like this. 6 times 6, and maybe you did too. To the negative 3, if you add the exponents, that's 6 to the negative 2, which is 1 over 6 squared. 136. If you add the exponents, negative 3 plus 1, you get negative 2. What do you do, Kira, if you get a negative exponent? <laughs> you just put it in the denominator and make it positive. Look. That's it. Okay. Number four. Ten to the negative five times ten to the seven. Are the bases the same? All right. So David says if the bases are the same, we're going to take negative five plus seven. What's negative five plus seven? David, 2. So it's 10 squared. Dominic, head up. 10 squared is? What would you get for 4, Dominic? Sorry, I was like, I was like, um, 10 squared is 100. 100. Your answer to number 4 is 100. Number 5, negative 6m to the negative 1. What's that look like? Did you get this done? What'd you get? 6M? No. Yes, sir? No, I wasn't answering anything. I just have a question. Can there be like fractions in exponents? No. Yes? Well, I bought 6M. 6M? No. Yes. Yeah, All right. What'd you get? One more try. Is it one over negative 6m? It's one over, okay. We got negative 6m to the negative 1. 
How can I rewrite that? One over negative six. If the exponent's negative, what do I do? I'm going to put it in the denominator and make it positive. Go ahead. One. Yeah, one, and then negative 6m. Because aren't you just changing the exponent? Yeah. And then one. Yeah. And this would be to the first power. Yeah. Not negative. Yeah. Right? It's right. Right? Yeah. It's a negative exponent. So I took what they raised to a negative power. I put it in the denominator. Under one. You seem unsure. Like yeah. It's making me. Yeah, I know. Because yeah, sure. I, it, it does look weird. Negative six. Yeah. Yeah. Just follow the rule. Okay. Anybody get something different? Uh, no. Yeah. I am. I am feeling weird about that. Go ahead. I got one over positive. How? Why you? Because you didn't put the negative sign. Because we actually changed it to positive. No, you're changing the exponent to positive. Oh. This doesn't change. Yeah, All right, is. number six. Are the bases the same? Yeah. Yeah. So what do I do with the yeah. two and the negative two? Yeah. What's yeah. two plus negative two? Zero. Zero. What's anything to the zero power? One. 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 Zero. The answer to one. number six is one. Anything to the zero power is one. Number seven. That's a division sign, the fraction bar. What's four minus seven? Negative, Negative three. Negative three. So I'm going to write five x to the four mm -hmm. over x to the seventh. I'm going to rewrite that as five times x to the negative three. Does that make sense? Yes. And x to the negative 3 is 5 times x to the positive 3 in the denominator. Yeah, yeah. Oh. You can spell Latin. This is number 7. Look, here's why. Zacchaeus, please quit counting. If I was to take the 5 out of here, let's say I took the 5 and wrote it out here. 5 over 1 times, let's, let's take the 5 out of the numerator and pretend it's not there. What's x to the 4th over x to the 7th? Is it not x to the negative 3? Because yes. you're dividing, so you subtract the exponents, yes. which gives me an x to the negative 3. So let's put a little multiplication sign between here. 5 times x to the negative 3. Well, that would be 5 times 1 over x cubed, which is 5 over x cubed. Sure. See, see what I did? I took the 5 out of the numerator. And if I was to put it back in, what would this be? 5 times x to the 4th over x to the 7th. Right? Okay. So that was your original problem. So this is actually 5 times x to the negative 3, which is 5 times 1 over x cubed. <coughs> and that's your final answer. <coughs> yes. <laughs> Number 8. 10 times 8 to the negative 3, I am, I got like bases on my A's, so I'm going to subtract, Sydney, 8 to the negative 3 minus 4. So I end up with 10 times 8 to the negative 7. Is it okay if I erase this one? All right, I, let me separate the 10 again. Hopefully that makes more sense. 
See if this makes sense to you. 10 over 1 times a to the negative, was it negative 3? Yeah. Over a to the 4. The actual problem in your book has the 10 up here in the numerator. But if I take the 10 out of there, isn't that the same thing? Yeah. Yeah. Let's say this was your problem. How? What would you say this equals? When you multiply fractions, what do you do? No. When you multiply fractions, you multiply straight across. What's 10 times a to the negative 3? 10 a to the negative 3. What's 1 times a to the 4? A to the 4. Is that the problem in your book right here? Yes. Okay. So I, everybody on that table paying attention? So I just separate the 10 out of there because it makes it easier for me to see and just work with the like bases. What is negative 3 minus 4? Negative. Okay. So I got A to the negative 7. Stop there. Here. I was saying when you multiply fractions, you just multiply them together. I'm trying to get you to see this without the 10 being there. I'm trying to get you to see that this 10 over 1 times that is the same as 10a to the negative 3. It's the same thing. So I'm forgetting about the 10 right now. I'm just isolated on my like bases. a to the negative 3 and 4. If I subtract Rachel... When I divide, I subtract, so I get a to the negative 7. How do I write a to the negative 7? 1 over a to the 7. 1 over a to the 7. So I have 10 times 1 over a to the 7. So my answer is 10 over a to the 7. Okay, sure. Okay, that was just the introduction. To the I guess that was one of the other ones. If you don't get it yet, we'll keep going. Here we go. Let's work with these together, 9 through 12. We'll see what the homework is when, as we keep going. 9 through 12. Not homework. Dang it. Brett, you should be, you should have this done before me. Negative six to the negative two. I'm gonna take negative six and make it to the positive two in the denominator. One over negative six squared. What's negative six times negative six? So my answer, final answer, 136. If you did not get 136 number 9, watch. Take what they raised to a power. If they raise it to a negative power, just flip it in the denominator and make it positive. I don't know how to... There's no other way. To, the easiest way to understand that is, since it's opposite, make it opposite. Flip it. Put it in the denominator. Make it positive. Yes? Uh, I didn't understand number three. Well, that's why we're just going to keep going more. Rather than rehashing eight, we're going to keep going. All right, David? Is the test today? Yes. yes. Good. No, no, no. Right. Okay, number ten. Friday. You should be done with number ten before. Nine through twelve. Oh, nine. Number ten. <laughs> two times two to the negative six. Maybe a little color added will. Oh, I get it now. Two times. Are the bases the same? 
If I have like bases, Sydney, and I'm multiplying like bases, what do I do with the exponents? Thanks, Sydney. What her voice changed. Good. I add. What's the exponent next to this two? So what is it? It's a one. This is a one. What's a positive one plus negative six? Negative five. So I'm going to rewrite this two to negative five. Right? No. What do you mean no? <laughs> Are the bases the same? Yes. Shh, shh, shh. The bases are the same, so I add the exponents. Negative 6 plus 1 is negative 5. If I have a negative exponent, I simply flip it down to the bottom and make it positive. What is 2 to the fifth? 32. You got that? Here we go. Listen. Yes. That's probably a harder route to go than this. Like bases. That's okay. You're going to get the same answer. Number 11. Are the bases the same? Okay. You're, you have two like bases. They're both fives. What are you going to do with the exponents? You're going to add them. What's 4 plus? No, Kara, you're trying to make your own rules. When the bases are the same, add the exponents. What's 4 plus negative 8? Negative 4. If the exponent's negative, just flip it. Put it in the denominator and make it positive. 1 over 5 to the 4. 5 times 5 is 25. 25 times 5 is 125. And 125 times 5 is 600. 1, 6, 1 over 625. Stop. Please stop all the extra chatter. We've got light bases. Zacchaeus, if the bases are the same, we add the exponents. So we get negative 8 plus 4 is negative 4. We're not frightened anymore by negative exponents. Listen, if it's negative, just flip it. Put it on the bottom make it positive. Quit trying to fight that. Oh, that's a negative exponent. That's the opposite of positive. So I'll put it on the bottom. Because 5 to the 4th positive would be 625 over 1. Stay with me here. 5 to the 4th is 625 over 1, right? Well, since it's negative, I'll just flip it. 1 over 625. Listen, if you'd rather do it that way, do that then. Do that. Pretend the negative's not there. Do 5 to the 4th. Get 625. And I'll go, oh, it's negative. So instead of 625 over 1, whoop. 1 over 625, whatever way fits your mindset better. Because that's really what's happening. You're just making it the opposite because negative is opposite of positive. Number 12. 9 to the 0, and everybody said? Anything to the 0 power zero. is 1. one. one. You know why it's one, Dina? Here's why. Watch. Here's why the answer to 12 is one. Because if I had 9 squared over 9 to the negative 2, what would the answer be? I'm sorry. If I had 9 squared times 9 to the negative 2, what would the answer be? It would be 9 to the 0, which is 1. Yeah, I totally need that. You know, even Lauren can do that. <laughs> um, All, right. All right, your homework. 13 through 20. That's seven questions. Eight. What? You do 13. Eight. 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 Eight.
I wouldn't dare give you 21. That's why I was off. Yes. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Please stop the chatter. On 13? Are the bases the same? What's negative 9? So instead of m to the negative 4, whoop, 1 over m to the 4. Done. Oh, all I had to do is add a little sound effects, huh? Yeah. All I had to do was go whoop, and now he says, oh, okay, that's easy. I tried adding color, and now I just needed sound effects. Yeah. David says, I don't get it. I go, oh, m to the negative 4, whoop, 1 over m to the 4. He goes, oh, I get it. He was voice actor. I don't David, <laughs> listen up. Oh, yes, because because five plus negative five is zero. Anything to the zero is one. All right, number fifteen. I understand why you don't get it because the coefficient and the variable are written right next to each other. So here's the best way for me to help you understand that. Read number 15 like this. Everybody else on 15 also? Yeah. 15 says 9 times n to the negative 3. Listen to me. It does not say this. Everybody see the difference? Those two are not the same. It doesn't say 9n to the negative 3. It says 9 times n to the negative 3. So do yourself a favor and rewrite that like this. 9 over 1 times 1 over n cubed. Okay, see, why are you freaking out? Because n to the negative 3 is 1 over n to the third. Why are you freaking out? I rewrote this as 9 over 1. What is n to the negative 3? It's 1 over n to the positive 3. So now it's 9 times 1 and 1 times n over 3. Boom. Done. Because can we do one at a time? This is 15. This is not n, 9n raised to the negative 3. It's 9 times n to the negative 3. So I rewrote it like that to make sure I wasn't confused with the 9. Yes, sir. So after, what do you do with the 9 over 1? Where you at? Right here? Hey, remember this? In order to multiply fractions, you got to have two... Fractions. Nine times one, one times n over three. Or to the third. Nine over You see that's sixteen, right? Oh, that's easy. Evelyn. Listen up. Eighteen. Yes. Jeff, is that yours too? Okay, let's do eighteen first. Okay. Eighteen. Rewrite it like this if it helps you. Watch. It's 4z to the negative 2 over z to the 4th. Watch what I do. I'm going to rewrite number 18 so I'm not confused. Is it 4? 4 over 1 times z to the negative 2 over z to the 4th. Now, let me stop there because I'm only doing this for you to see that forget the 4 for a minute. I rewrote this like this because I want you to forget about the 4 for a minute. Pretend the 4 is not there. Now, if you multiplied these together, what would you get? You would get what's in the book. 4z to the negative 2 over z to the 4. This is the problem that's in the book, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just take the 4 out of there for a minute. 
and look at your like bases. What is negative 2 divided by, or I mean negative 2 minus 4? Because when you divide, you subtract the exponents. What's negative 2 minus 4? Negative 2 <coughs> minus, it's negative 2 outside, it went down 4 degrees. Negative 6. Negative six. So I got, th for this part, I have z to the negative, hold on, z to the negative 6. I have 4 over 1 times z to the negative 6, which is 4 over 1 times 1 over z to the 6, 4 over z to the 6. Uh, just 13 through 20. Now listen, you got to do your part because tomorrow the train's got to leave the station. <laughs>